Good Saturday evening, everybody. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onig with a quick weather update, keeping you informed as to what's going on throughout the rest of the Father's Day weekend coming up. And also, again, as we go into the rest of next week, not much is going to be changing anytime soon. That's for certain. So a little teaser for you to give you an idea as to what's going to be coming your direction. We've got some very hot temperatures out there, not exactly record-breaking, but once again, we've got the possibility of those throughout the course of the rest of the weekend and into around next week. We also have a modified heat advisory in effect for tomorrow as the hottest conditions have left the metro area for tomorrow, but we may see an alteration of that coming up here in the course of the next several hours from the National Weather Service. We'll bring you more details on that coming up here in just a little bit. If you're around the Mid-South area this evening, definitely want to make certain you drop your location and your weather reports into the comments section. We'd love to see more about where you're checking in from and also again what the weather's like we'll take a look at some of our web cameras we'll take a look at some of your weather pictures so again if you'd like to get more information out there let's get everybody into it and see what's happening with weather in and around the mid-south for this saturday evening and if you've got weather pictures Again, take a look at the comments section. Just post that information there. You can send them to me on Twitter or any of these social media networks. If you've never tuned in here before, forecast at the bottom of your screen, also down here and all available at wreg.com slash weather if you'd like to find out a little bit more there. Temperatures into the 10 o'clock hour will only be dropping into the mid-80s. And then as we go into tomorrow morning... Low temperatures will not be all that low, only dropping into the mid to upper 70s for most of the Mid-South area. So some decently uncomfortable weather as we head into the very early morning hours of Sunday. For Father's Day starting off again, low temperatures only in the upper 70s and the upwards is where we go from there where it comes to the possibility of seeing in some pretty steamy conditions across much of the area throughout the course of the rest of the day. So we're just not seeing too much of anything out there in the way of hope for or anything involving cooler weather anytime soon. Sunset light mixed with a few clouds out there on the Ole Miss campus in Oxford, Mississippi from the Crosby Hall construction cam looking back toward the Student Union still on its renovation area. From City Hall in Germantown, right at sunset, dying shower over portions of the Mississippi River. Some of those clouds seen from across the county and still pretty steamy out there. We've got 90 degrees and 54% humidity. That's making the heat index about 96 degrees. You can combine the temperature with the humidity to get that heat index. The higher the humidity, the harder it is for sweat to get off of your body by evaporation and cooling yourself down. The more humidity there is in the air, the less the sweat can leave your body and the harder it is for you to cool off. So if this was down to about, say, 20%, 30%, it'd be hot, but it wouldn't be quite as uncomfortable. But tonight, we've got some pretty steamy conditions out there. Sunset, beautiful again. Mississippi River sunsets, no way to argue with that. Some beautiful conditions. A few clouds drifting on through and looking back toward West Memphis off in the distance. We do have a shower. Again, that's what you were looking at on the Germantown camera a few seconds ago. That is, again, the only thing that we have left over is just a dying shower into and around northwestern Shelby County, drifting northward, and there's really not that much left of it. We did have some isolated showers and thunderstorms. We still do, technically, down into around just south of the viewing area. We had some decent thunderstorms earlier back up around New Madrid and into southeast Missouri and into around the Boot Hill, but not much of anything going on right now. Into and around northwestern Mississippi, south South of Water Valley, some thunderstorms pulsing, coming and going, and trying to keep going. We've got tons of moisture available in the atmosphere for the thunderstorms to develop. What we don't have is, again, atmospheric support to get those thunderstorms moving up in the atmosphere. It's tons of moisture. It's very unstable in its own way, but we just don't have that extra energy to really get things going at this point in time, and that would be nice to cool people off, but unfortunately, that's about as good as it gets. Now, into tomorrow, we do have, again, a new and modified heat advisory. Shelby County not included in this. Northern Mississippi not included in this. Neither is West Tennessee or Southeast Arkansas. But Northeast Arkansas and the Boot Hill, this is where the hottest of the hot temperatures are expected to be tomorrow. So that's why that heat advisory will remain in effect through Sunday night at 8 o'clock. Heat index temperatures here will be around or over 105 degrees. Now, if you don't know anything about heat injuries, what to look for, how to treat them, 
go to this website address, WREG.com, scroll down beneath the forecast, and we've got information from the National Weather Service and the Centers for Disease Control about how you can recognize heat injuries and also do what you can to make certain that people are ready to go, uh, again, when it comes to stuff like that. So please keep that in mind if you're going to be doing anything outdoors or anything involving exercise or working out there. We've got a very tropical air mass in place across the southeast United States. We've got nothing in the way of major storm systems coming on through, so little of anything really taking place at this time that's going to be giving us a lot of a cool down anytime soon. It'd be nice, it's just not really all happening all that much, and any rain that continues to fall across the area is basically just going to be adding to the humidity of the atmosphere, and that's about as good as it gets. Heat index temperatures right at sunset still feels like 105 degrees at Crestview Middle School in Covington, even though the air temperature is back around the upper 80s to lower 90s, it still feels very stifling out there with all the humidity into parts of the Mid-South area. So that is where we're seeing, again, uh, the hot conditions across much of the area. All right, running the numbers into tomorrow, looking again at a possibility of seeing those isolated chances of showers and thunderstorms across the area. We'll continue again to see those uh, into the Mid-South area throughout the rest of the next couple of days. Welcome to everybody who's checking on in. Thanks for dropping in your location. New Bern, Tennessee, Paulette Morrow, 91 degrees. Uh, thank you very much for that one. Everybody else checking in from around the area. Hot as fire, Susan Fleming Barton from Senatobia. Miserable here. Thank you very much. Uh, glad to see you're enjoying the heat out there. But, uh, yeah, definitely feeling that way into around the area here. Mary Zuber Jones from Memphis around the Ridgeway Quince area. Thank you very much for dropping on through. And good morning to, or good evening to everybody else uh, checking in from around the Mid-South area. Again, if you're just joining us, Drop your weather reports and your location so we can tell people where you are into the comments section. We'll see what's going on where you're located. Again, the possibility of an isolated thunderstorm not out of the question tomorrow. If we get enough cloud cover, we may see some temperatures a little lower back in the upper 80s. Mainly looking, <coughs> excuse me again, for temperatures back in the lower to mid 90s. And that's going to be, that's your Father's Day high temperatures right there. And it's probably going to be staying that way throughout the foreseeable future. So we just don't have too much of anything showing up in the way of a decent cool down. This is about where we go into those summer doldrums to where we don't have a lot happening. We have temperatures that are very hot at, during the day, very steamy at night, and maybe an isolated chance of a shower or thunderstorm. We are still in the spring season. Season. We have not crossed over in summer. That happens Thursday morning at about 5.07 a.m. So the first full day of summer will definitely be feeling like it. And again, we're just not seeing any changes taking place anytime soon. 10-day forecast has the numbers lower 90s for highs, lower 70s for lows. Chances of showers and thunderstorms here and there, but not great chances. Just isolated stuff peppered around the Mid-South area. And that's the way it's going to stay as we go throughout the next few days. So anybody on there who is watching in the comment section and asking about will I get rainfall, will I get any thunderstorms, it's possible, but once again it's just going to be so haphazardly scattered across the area that you might get a thunderstorm in say Collierville and you won't get anything in Germantown. You might pick up something in and around Marion, Arkansas and not get anything in West Memphis. They're going to be that kind of hazardly, haphazardly scattered across much of the Mid-South. Tim Jebo Broyles, 85 in Chattanooga. Uh, say hello to my friend Ellen Nesheim who lives there with her family, know her from back at University of Kansas uh, in Lawrence a long time ago. 83 degrees in Lucy. Stephen W. Jordan, welcome to the show, and thanks for the weather report, and thanks to everybody else for checking in for this evening. Dropping into the tropics, we've got a tropical air mass in place across the area. What we don't have is a large storm system, and hopefully it'll stay that way. We do have, again, right around the Yucatan Peninsula, an area of low pressure. Hang on just one second. These touch screens can be kind of finicky sometimes. If you get just close enough to them or look at them funny, sometimes they can do things they're not supposed to. All right, trying this again. Yucatan Peninsula, this storm system making its way into around the southern part of the Gulf. And right now, the generic direction is going to be taking it towards, say, Brownsville, Corpus Christi, west of Houston. That's the forecast for right now. Over the next few days, we'll have to wait and see what the National Hurricane Center says. It does not look to be a big threat. There's only about a 20% chance of this thing actually developing. But if you're planning on heading anywhere from the Gulf Coast, 
I would say anything e uh, west of Pensacola, New Orleans, down to the Texas Gulf Coast, I would watch this very carefully. And if you're doing anything down around, say, Oklahoma, Texas, New Orleans, Louisiana, Mississippi, this thing, as it goes northward, could shovel a lot of moisture on shore. So outdoor activities around these areas could pick up some decent amounts of rainfall. Now, it does not, at this time, look like it's going to be affecting us in the Mid-South area, but once again, we're going to be watching that very carefully out there. Pearl Coleman McGlothian from yesterday's sunset on Jack's Lake. I believe that's around the Crenshaw area. Thank you very much for that picture out there. Nice view from earlier this week around Collierville from Lynn Wages. Nice double rainbow, kind of hard to see. It's a little bit washed out there, but very faint, but you can actually see that there from uh, when that storm system came through earlier. Kara Smith, very nice view from Millington. I believe this was last night or Thursday evening. Thank you very much for that one. And Joseph McCoy from Olive Branch, crediting his sister for taking the picture, but Mr. McCoy sending this along to us. You can just see the anvil of the thunderstorm that was forming over parts of northern Mississippi. Very easy to see that with the reflected sunlight there. So a beautiful picture. We're going to be posting these to our social media pages out into and around the area. And if you'd like to contribute your pictures, weather pictures, either in the Mid-South or out of the Mid-South, we'll take them and we'll show them around. So all you have to do is drop them to us at aonic underscore WREG three on Twitter, Aonic no underscore necessary at WREG three at Instagram and at Austin Onic WREG on Facebook on there. Sally Cloud O'Brien watching from Minden, Louisiana. Welcome and uh, hope your grandson does well in the All-Star St. Jude Tournament. Thank you very much uh, for that one. Patricia Perez is going anywhere near Hernando, Mississippi. Uh, assuming you're talking about the storm system down in the Gulf, right now, no, it does not look like it's going anywhere close to that. But if the pattern shifts, and it can, we'll let you know about that throughout the rest of the weekend, so stay tuned for more there. Catch up with the rest of my forecast on Oldies 102.3 and Country 92.5 throughout the rest of the weekend. We'll have an update on the forecast coming up tonight on News Channel 3 at 10. And again, we'll take a look and see if we have any relief on the heat coming up as we go throughout the rest of the holiday weekend, so stick around for more on that. Also, again, remember you can pick up the forecast available at WREG.com slash weather. Questions, concerns, ideas, anything you would like to see on here, please let me know. And all you have to do to do that is drop me a line at austin.onic at WREG.com. And again, we'll keep you updated on stuff throughout the course of the rest of the weekend. Todd Demers has an update on your forecast tomorrow morning on News Channel 3 Daybreak, so stay tuned for more on that. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Stick around for more with News Channel 3 throughout the rest of the weekend on air and online.